Well, I'm off to the home center to pick up some gardening supplies. Good day from Kamakura, Japan, on this Saturday, March 4th. It's a cool five degrees outside, but it looks like we have a, a really nice day on tap, just partly cloudy skies and not much wind. Feels really good. And I love the sound of that Japanese warbler there, the Uguizu. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, it should be a nice day indeed. While I was waiting for the sun to rise, I was upstairs transplanting some pineapple plants. I transplanted four of them. Let me show you how I did it. Well, I'm off to the home center to pick up some gardening supplies. I think it's time to transplant the pineapple starts. So I need to buy some pots. I have some grow bags that I ordered on Amazon. They'll be coming soon. Five gallon and 10 gallon bags, four each. So that should get me started with the grow bags. The home center is just around the bend here. Seed section. Yes. We'll go give this a try. I'll try these cucumbers here. And some cherry tomatoes. We'll give this a try. Let's try some different kinds of zucchini. Oh, these are interesting. Zucchini. Let's give it a try. Looks interesting. And I'll try watermelon again this year. See what happens. Okay. Yeah, I think all of this is enough for now. I think I could use some more scissors, something like this, and one of these. And I'll get some new netting here, I'll get two different kinds. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Let's take a look at what we got here. Bought some garden soil as well as some fermented chicken manure full of nutrients. So that should help out a lot. And also some cow manure. So I'm going to mix all of these together into the soil and uh, hopefully have some nice growth. Okay, here, this has a water catchment that can be released here. And that way I don't have to water it so much. The roots can come down and, and find the water it needs. And if it's too much water, I can drain it out. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll work very well. And while out, I got some, uh, some more cabbages and some more broccoli. Just to save some time and space in my grow tower. And here I bought some May Queen potatoes, seed potatoes. So I'll cut these up and plant these as well. Have a nice potato crop growing this year. And I also bought this little mini sickle here. I really like the angle. Yeah, this will allow me to get in close while I'm doing my spring cleaning. Bought some, some new shears. Now let me show you what I have here. I got some more of the eggplant and some cucumbers, some cherry tomatoes, red, yellow, and orange. And here are zucchini, three different types of zucchini. The dark green, light green, and yellow. I even found this almond-shaped kabocha, or pumpkin. And here we have some uh, puccini and watermelon. I'm gonna give watermelon another try. Maybe I'll try this in one of the big uh, grow bags that's coming soon. Oh, and I also bought some more row covers to keep the bugs away. I bought two different kinds. This is a very fine mesh, and uh, this is uh, what I've used before. Uh, 1.35 meters by 10 meters, 10 meters, 1.8, so they should be wide enough. Okay, let's get these watered. I'll water the bottom as well. Okay, I won't bother putting these into the grow tower. I think they'll do fine outside here. And on a nice sunny day, on a nice sunny morning, we'll get plenty of sun coming in this window here. So next we'll get these planters filled with soil. Okay, let's get started by preparing these planters. It comes with this uh, little stand here to help the plants stand upright. I'm not going to worry about that right now. <laughs> the funny thing is, it doesn't come with the pole. You see the poles here? <laughs> I guess poles not included. Yeah, so yeah, we'll deal with this later. Very thoughtful of them, huh? <laughs> so this is what keeps the the bottom away from the water. Yeah, this just fits right inside here, like that. And that gives it plenty of uh, space for water to 
remain in the bottom there. So I just wanted to check to see how deep this is. Yeah, that should give me about eight and a half inches. Not bad. About 25 centimeters. And the roots can grow through that. So that'll give me maybe 30 centimeters or 12 inches of good space. But the soil itself should be about eight and a half inches deep. Well, I just opened the cow manure here and it's got a very strong smell. So I'm gonna have to keep this closed. Yeah, a very strong urine smell. This is the chicken manure. <laughs> this is also very strong too. Kind of reminds me of being on a farm. <laughs> First, I'm gonna retransplant my pineapples. They're looking pretty good. I may snip off some of these outer leaves. The ones that are a bit browned on the ends. I think I'll start by mixing the soil here. I've got some uh, leftover soil. I'm going to mix in just a bit of the chicken manure. Be two handfuls per tray here, and about again two handfuls of uh, the cow manure. The smell gets too strong; may have to go and open a window. Okay, so I just want to mix this in together, and then we'll go right into the planter with this. Maybe I should put a piece of paper towel down just so that the dirt doesn't flow through to the bottom. Well, I'll let this one go. We'll do that for the next one. I'm banking on each of these planters holding one of these trays. Okay, make a, uh, a well here. And let's see what we have here. Not much of a root ball. Yeah, I think I'll need a bit more soil here. Well, it's about up to the rim there. Alrighty, so there's one. Looks fairly good. What I'll do is just snip off some of these outer leaves. Alrighty. So, I'll wait to water this until I get downstairs. That way it won't be too heavy. Ready, on to the next. Here I'm laying down two paper towels. That should be enough. Okay, so four more to go. Okay, and now the last one. bag is a bit heavy, so I'm scooping it out. I will admit this is the first time I've ever used cow or chicken manure, but it is a bit stinky, so I'll close this up. Soil. Okay, the last pineapple. And I'm finding worms here. Can you see this? Can you see that worm there? Yeah, that's a very good sign. Yeah, this one doesn't look so great. Let me take a look at the roots. So it does have some roots, so let's clean it up a bit. Make it look a little bit more presentable. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Alrighty, so I've got four pineapple transplants, all done. Until we get some really warm weather, I thought I'd just put them here with the avocados, and then in a couple weeks I can take them outside. 
Yeah, I'm glad I didn't water them. These things are heavy enough without the water. So where should I put this? Maybe right here. So in a few minutes, we'll get the morning sun on them. Okay, I'll give each one a good drink. As I water them, I want to keep track of how high the water rises here, because I don't want it flooding <laughs> my living room floor here. So far, so good. Okay, I'll come back in about an hour or so and see how they're doing, see where the water level is. Well, with that done, let me show you what's happening out here. The broccoli is still hanging on, very nice. Yeah, I think you can see how well they're doing. Not big bunches, but enough for a nice side dish. And over here, the arugula has bounced back, getting some nice big leaves. And we've got some tulips coming in. Very good, very good. And here you can see how the garlic is growing taller. And over here, getting nice and tall as well. And the spinach is bouncing back. And it looks like here our cabbage is regrowing. I think I'll leave it and see what happens. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll be redoing the sides of the bed here. Yeah, these all need to be redone. But things are looking okay. And I'll be doing a total revamp of this area here, so please stay tuned for that in the coming weeks. And hopefully we'll have some strawberries coming in soon. Yeah, we've got more of the tulips coming in. And over here, very nice, very nice. off and we'll take a look at the grow bags in the next episode. Hey, goody chum. How are you? How's everything? How are you? 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 あ、そうみたいね。あ、大丈夫、大丈夫。大丈夫、ありがとうございました。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。ありがとう。